Hi everybody, it's Christina here and welcome back to my channel. So as you saw from the thumbnail, it is paycheck budget time. This is what we're going to go through and we're going to um, be completely honest with you guys and we're going to, you're going to help us budget our paycheck. Um, okay, so first off, my hair looks greasy because I haven't taken a shower today. We are having an ice storm that is stupid. I'm just... It's stupid, okay? We didn't really get the snow we were supposed to. And, uh, so it kind of sucks. So I figured I'd put on lipstick to help myself kind of feel more awake and more, uh, like I don't want to be here. I don't wear makeup, so we're just gonna have to roll with my friend here. So, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Today was one of my paycheck day. Next week's my husband, so we are going to work on my husband's paycheck, which I like these sheets. I got the print off from Etsy. Okay, so the paycheck date is going to be February 9th. So all I do is I go through and I fill out the sections. Um, his paycheck for... He gets paid every two weeks. Um, yeah, so. I like the months that he gets three because I get paid twice a month and they're on set days, but his is not. Um, after insurance and taxes, he his check comes out to 119 or 118.19 every two weeks. And our insurance is almost... Our insurance is literally twelve hundred a month. Hey Charlie! It showed that they took six hundred out, right? For insurance. Uh something like that, yeah. Do you realize we pay twelve hundred dollars a month in insurance then? <laughs> so yeah we pay twelve hundred dollars a month for insurance um that's a great thing so okay the first thing is we are paying off one of our firms and i always put the cost of their firm this one was thirty two dollars and forty eight cents a month um let's see okay nothing important so i budgeted five hundred and $38.68 for it. And we're going to go ahead and do a check real quick on our app. And see if um, that price has changed at all. Because it's going to be paid off next week. But with the way interest hits is weird. So we're just going to make sure that nothing has changed. If we make a payment... We want to do it February 9th. So no, they still have it at 538.68. And usually if I pay it around, uh, because I work nights, if I pay it around midnight, um, we usually don't get that interest for the day. So and then we don't know the actual yet. Um, I have my car payment, so K car. And that is $354.04. And that won't change. It's still going to be $354.04. So uh, there's going to be no change there because that doesn't change. And I'm not making an extra payment this month. Um, so another thing is we have Best Buy, my Best Buy card. So I'm paying $88 on that. Um, that could change depending on once I get my bill and I haven't gotten my bill for this month. So I kind of, let's go ahead and go and double check that. Um, usually my Best Buy is logged in on here, but for some reason it's not. And that's a little strange.
Um, hmm. Oh, I need to go to my pay your bill. This should tell me when it's due. And it's just taking forever to load. I know why, because a lot of people in my town don't actually have power. So I'm very fortunate that we do. <clears throat> I just want to go to home, please. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. It locked me out. And it didn't even save my password. This is stupid. So, so far, as far as I know, it's going to be $88, and it's one of the bills that I'm not really paying down on. Oh, this isn't even due until the 27th of January, but I'm going to go ahead and pay it this time, or the 9th. Um, I guess I will hopefully get it by next week. If not, I'm going to make an $88 payment, and it will let me know if that's not the right payment. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, <coughs> we are looking at paying off my husband's Lowe's, which I just made a payment on. Hopefully, it will reflect that. But I want to go ahead and go back through and make sure that... Oh, goodness. I do not want that to fall. Uh -huh. Okay, so it hasn't actually taken the price off of that, so I gotta do some math. I can do that simple math in my head. Okay, so we are paying off his Lowe's card. And he owes $169.94. Okay, and I'm going to leave that as, act I'm going to leave it a little bit factual in case interest kicks in by next week. So that took care of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a payment to my one of my utilities, which is my, s nope, this is my, my uh, gas. And it was $71 last time, but I'm not sure how much it's going to be really this time because they switched to a new company and it's just been a mess. Okay, and then some of these should have been over in debt payments, but I don't have very many like... Like, um, my Affirm and my Lowe's and Best Buy should all be over here in debt payment. But because I'm just keeping track of what I pay right here. Okay, what am I doing? Okay, so then I next am putting fuel for our cars. Um, usually we go through about $160.00. A week but the good thing that a hundred because well actually okay so I get $45 and that will last me a week and then he spends $45 to fill up his tank and that will usually last him a week because he only works four days but he does have drill this weekend so I'm having to add in a little bit extra and then next week I get paid so and then we add more fuel money back in there so uh, because right now it's working where we get paid every week. Bentley, no, sir. Gross. So I budget about $160 for that. And then I'm pretty sure I have enough groceries to get me through February 9th. So I'm not going to put anything into groceries. 
but I have, um, let's do some math. 14, 18, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, minus 91, minus 160, and that leaves us with $36.53. So I'm going to put into my bank savings. Because right now I am not doing um, the cash stuffing envelopes nor the um, binder until I have a solid thousand dollars in the bank so until I get that I'm not actually going to worry about that so <clears throat> so all of the incomes of course it's gonna be 1418 because that doesn't change um the bills let's add up what the bills come to I just totally skipped the 538 Just made a big mistake. Okay, so I have the 71, the 169, this 160, 88, 538, five, or 530, yeah, 538 and 354, and that comes to a total of 1,381.66, which 1418.19 minus. 1381.66 leaves me a total of 36.53 and then um total for my savings is $30 which leaves me $6.53 left over so my bills come out to 1381.66 uh, my savings comes out to 30 So it leaves me $6.53, which I will leave just in case I need to run to the store and get anything for lunches or dinners. So um, for me, that is what an average uh, budgeting sheet looks like. Um, I am out of these at the moment, so I need to go and get more or make more. I just got to print them off. Um, but yeah, so if you're into budgeting... Here's a video for you. If not, you probably didn't make it this far. So, yeah. That is all that I have for you guys. I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.